It's not over. Stop the fight! No! People! Everybody, everybody, I come here for everybody! Kill everybody! I'm the champ, I'm the king, kill everyone! Ah! All right, guys, welcome back to Broke Bets. Um, we got some UFC 285 bets here for you guys, but uh, we're going to first recap last week since we never got the chance to, um, and we just swept the last card. So uh, we'll go over these bets quick, then we'll get into our bets for UFC 285. What's going on, Carson? What's going on, my guy? Yeah, I mean, smacking out everything last week was a nice recovery. Um so we placed five bets. We won 4.6. Um, the one bet in the prop section we had was um, Span versus Krilov to go under an, one and a half, and that got voided out. Um, okay, first bet. Augusto Sakai, pretty easy. Dante Maze is trash, and uh, if you watched his previous fight, you knew it, and you probably made money on it. Um, and then you had your Alia bet. Yeah, Alia uh, went out there and dominated all three rounds. A um, little worried after that uh, point deduction, but I, I didn't really understand that. It uh, looked like uh, Alves was trying to get a little fish hook in there, but Aliyev uh, persevered and got the win. Got out of that guillotine in the third round, too, like really well, so that was a good sign as well. Um, and then fought back from being mounted, so I liked all that. Uh, For sure. Next, I had Tatiana Suarez by finish. I knew she was the better grappler. She got in some submission situations where I thought she was going to maybe go for the rear naked. Um, but I'll take a guillotine and I'll take that uh, all day. Um, next, had the under one and a half in the Trevor Peak Eric Gonzalez fight. Just knew that was going to be violent. And it was. Um, end of the round, obviously, with that finish. Um, Jasmine Ju- 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 Jazz Davicius versus Gabriela Fernandez. I got really lucky I got my money on this one. I thought that it should have been stopped at the end of round two for uh, Jasmine to win with those elbows and the crucifix. Clearly, Fernandez has no get-up game or no IQ for her ground game and uh, red flag going forward. And then to polish it off, uh, we had uh, Mike Malott under two and a half with the Ode, Osborne, Charles Johnson fight to start round two. Um, Just felt like there was going to be a feeling out process in that Charles Johnson fight. And uh, Mike Malott, uh playing the Terminator guy. He can just get through and, and uh, puts people out, so I like that. Okay, UFC 285. We got 5.6 units in the line for to try to win about 5.2. First bet, uh, Mateus Gamera. I'm going to take him to beat Jalen Turner. I got this line early. Um, Jalen Turner, great fighter, you know, has all the the crazy wins, good finishes recently, but this is a step up against a really high-level grappler. Um, and where he was held down by Matt Frivola, and I know this was four years ago, but um, it's hard to improve your wrestling, especially at that height. Typically, you'll see these smaller guys have a strength advantage on taller people when they're re- wrestling grappling. Um, and I think that damn rot's just going to have his way on the ground. But uh, I, I went yeah, nine... It's a different uh, stylistic matchup uh, from what you were scheduled to face Dan Hooker. True. At first. Yeah, it's um, a, completely different style matchup. Here. Probably wasn't preparing grappling at all, so yeah. And and people say short notice for Damrot. I'm not worried about it personally. Um, but, uh, you know, in a way, I do want to cheer for Jalen Turner. Obviously, not anymore with my money on it, but like, yes, as a fan, probably should want Jalen Turner to win. Um,. Next bet, fighter parlay. Um, and again, you had to get these lines early. Duplessis is the only one that didn't move. And I'm sure almost all of you guys that watch this or bet, um, <clears throat> you know, got a bet just like this. Basharat, Gary, and Duplessis. Basharat, um, just think that he's uh, better in the stand-up and in the grappling over uh, Demond Blackshear. And he's going to have the better cardio as well. Gary... Stand up, we'll be able to move his feet up, feet well away from Song's power, tire him out a little bit, find a finish early in the fight, I think. And then Duplessis, Derek Brunson slows down after uh, round one, and I think that Duplessis finds that knockout when Derek slows down. I know uh, Duplessis slows down, but he also fights through being tired a little bit better, doesn't quit as as much, and yeah, I mean... And his last two, or in his last two fights, he won both the third round. 
got a finish in round three, but in uh, Tavares' fight, I think. Uh, I think it went to decision, three. but yeah, that one went to decision. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying he won the third, third oh, round. Oh, right, right. But yeah, Duplessis, I mean, Derek Brunson's going to look really dangerous in round round one, and that's not going to be a shocker to anybody. I mean, he probably will take Duplessis down, but I think it's going to have a worse effect on uh, Derek to actually even get those takedowns, so we'll see. Um, first prop bet, I'm playing um, Valentina and Alexa Grasso to go over four and a half rounds, and you know I didn't get the best line on this. I saw it get up to like plus 125, and uh, there's also like over three and a half rounds at even money that's come out. Man, I just don't know how this one can't go a couple rounds at least. Valentina finishes like the trash cans. Like she'll finish Jessica I and some other people and really easily in the stand up Lauren Murphy. Um but I know in the grappling positions Valentina can get in those crucifix spots. But I think Alexa Grasso is just a little bit better on the ground than some of these other girls Valentina's got there for the crucifix position finish and other scenarios. I think that Alexa makes it to a decision here. And she stopped takedowns against Vivian. Not that Vivian's the greatest wrestler ever, but I think that she's also very strong. So I like this one over four and a half. Um, yeah, I just see it going the distance. I also think Valentina by decision is a good bet. I think that's at like plus 200. Um, next, we have uh, Vivian Arujo versus Amanda Rebus. I have it going to a split decision. I, I just think that the judges are going to have an impossible job to store fights like this, where both girls are hitting each other. You can't really tell who's getting the best of what. And uh, maybe crowd bias also on the side of Amanda Hebus could uh, influence a split decision if she's losing the fight. Um, maybe she gets a takedown and holds her down for a minute, and how will they uh, score that compared to the strikes? Right, and... You know, that Ch- Caitlin Chukedian fight that she had was very debated. Um, and I think with these even matchups, they just have trouble scoring them. It's just the way it's been. So I'm not putting much in it um, just because you never know the outcome. Um, and because I have a follow up bet that's going to add on to the toll for that fight. Um, I'm playing Bo Nickel, Jamie Pickett under one and a half rounds just because Bo Nickel's. If you're in your UFC debut and you have so much hype on you, you're going for the finish right away, and that's that's just what Bo Nickel's going to do. Like, same way Raul Rosas Jr. did, you should just go for the finish right away, boost your hype like a Hamzat Shemaev, and run steam throw, steamroll through him, and I expect that. And then parlay with that, over 2.5 in that chick fight, so we only have 1.1 units going through um, the Arujo and Ribas fight. Um I just think that, again, these two... Amanda doesn't have the best chin by any means, but uh, if if you really consider it, I think that at straw weight, maybe she was um, cutting a little bit too much and it was affecting her chin. I think that she didn't do better here. Final bet. Um, Valentina, uh, Shevchenko, and Alexa Grasso to start round three. We both like this uh, bet. And this line's crazy, right? I think so, yeah. Uh, minus 156. Um, Grasso has only been finished one time, and that was against Suarez, which, I mean, she she's pretty much going to dominate ev- um, everybody on the ground. Um, yeah, I mean, Alexa Grasso is tough, too. I think she can hang for at least three rounds, um, no doubt. Well, I-, I just don't understand how the heavyweight championship, the over four and a half is like minus 150. But how in Chick Fight, where Valentina's kind of been known to feel out the first round, is start round three minus 156 on FanDuel? I just, I just don't get it. So I mean, they probably look at her record and see she's got finishes on there. I mean, even Lauren Murphy was like third round finish though, right? So, yeah, fourth round. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I like that start round three so much. And I think if, even if you don't want to parlay it, straight bet it. Bo Nickel by finish, like we said on there, if it doesn't happen early, it'll probably happen later, especially against Jamie Pickett. So, yeah, rounds one early. If, if you want to bring that uh, that line down a little more, probably Bo Nickel finish round one or two. Um, that's right, probably even better. All right, I'll pull the oh shit, I'll pull the uh, zoom out and let you guys see 
kind of what the full card looks like from distance. If you want to take a screenshot. Um, but yeah, 5.6 units. You know, I, we've talked about betting gone um, and other stuff like that. But the judges, I think, could be like a harsh influence on the fight. And even even with John looking like he's going to be the heavier guy in the matchup, who knows how if John just holds him down on the ground. I don't want to stress about it. I just want to watch the fight as a fan. And uh, anything else you got? Um, looking forward to this weekend. Uh, going to be exciting. Let's make it four winning weeks in a row. We got three right now. So y- yes, sir. Step it up. All right. Peace. Peace. I oh, know it doesn't matter from the trenches. I'm built like this. They all doubted me, so I couldn't do it. They all said I couldn't do it. Look at me now.